हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज आशीष सैनी फ्रॉम इनोवेट योर सेल्फ वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न व्हाट इज एंटिटी एक्सट्रैक्शन इन रासा चैटबॉट सो व्हाट इज एंटिटी एक्सट्रैक्शन एंड हाउ इट इज बीइंग यूज्ड इन योर रासा चैटबॉट सो वी विल कवर ऑल दिस टॉपिक्स इन आवर टुडे सेशन सो फर्स्टली लेट्स सी व्हाट इज एंटिटी एक्सट्रैक्शन बट एज ऑफ माय नॉलेज आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन योर लेट्स से आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन यू वन एग्जांपल रिगार्डिंग द सेम राइट so in that example what i have shown you uh, let me show you what i have shown you uh, yeah here you can see while i was explaining about the rasa nlu part at that time i have given you one example like the example was i need a taxi for five people so in that part i am having two entities so one entity was the service the service which you are offering to the customer right so the service was the taxi so you are providing the taxi service and similarly you want that taxi for five people so five people is what that is the number of persons count that you are using as your second entity so this is what this is a kind of a services or the count or let's say these are the entities which we want to extract from the message that a user will tell you right so similarly what happens is whenever we have a conversation with any other person right at that time what we generally do is like i want to book some cab i want to book some hotel or anything right at that time what i want to do i have to mention or let's say i have to give some details of mine like the phone number like the address like the a mobile number or anything else right so these are what so these are the kind of a services or these are kind of a details that my chatbot or let's say that the other person should know while booking any service right so at that time the entity extraction is the most thing that a chatbot should also know because that is the most important part by which your chatbot will be able to extract the information and to further use it or let's say further store them at some particular location right so this is how your rasa chatbot will work so for that we must know how to use the entity part so that we can use this complete part right so for that let's see how to do it in your programming part so for that let's go back to the pycharm so this is the program which we have seen till now in this what we have done is we have make a simple chatbot in which i was just uh, making a small conversation between a waiter and the customer where the waiter was your chatbot and the customer was any user right so this is how we were doing it now what we have to do is let's say let's just test it first right so for that i am opening my terminal and my environment is already activated so in here what i want to do is i want to check when i will run my chatbot at that time what will happen whether i am able to extract any kind of entities or not right because in this part your rasa nl you will take care of two things one is the entity extraction and the second one is intent classification right so this is how your rasa nl you will work so for that let's see how your rasa chatbot is working in actual because right now we have just seen the front end part we haven't seen what is actually going on in the back end so for that let me show you how to check that part as well so for that i am having rasa shell if you will run this part rasa shell at that time you will be able to see only the front end part but i want to see the back end part so what i will do is i will just debug this part so whenever you will send some message to your rasa chatbot at that time your rasa chatbot will show you each and everything whatever it is going in the back end so just run this and let's see your rasa shell in action so here you can see all the things are starting up so here you can see if it is written info that is the information that you can see in the front end part and if you can see this is debug then this debug means only you can see it when you are debugging it right at that time you will be able to see this things otherwise you won't be able to see this part right so this is how we can check that now when i will say hi let's see what happens when you will say hi at that time what will happen it will show you so many things right but your main message is what how can i help you sir so this is the only thing that you will see when you are using it in the front end part at that time you will see only this message but now we are debugging it so let's see what other things i can check here right 
so i have passed a message which is hi and hi is what or let's say what is the intent name for hi right so let's see here you have seen these things hi with intent and what is the intent name and the name is greet let's see whether it is correct or no we'll go here we will check it here so this is greet and inside greet what do you have you have hi right so you are absolutely correct right and also it is showing you the confidence level of this right so the confidence level of this is 95.78 percentage right so this is quite very high and this is very correct right so this is how you can see and similarly there is another option which is entities and inside this entities you can see there is nothing this is just the empty list right so this is how we can see whether we are able to extract the entities and also we are able to classify the intents like this right so here you can see all these things which you cannot see in the front end part and also it is showing you all the things that is going in back end so you can see this is a policy which is the memoization policy which is being taking place over here similarly when you have just uh, classified this intent after that what your bot has taken action so your bot action is utter underscore bot under uh, bot greet so accordingly you are able to see this message right so if you will check this which is utter underscore bot greet so let's see what it will show you so I'm checking it inside the domain file so here you can see how can I help you so this is the action which your bot will take when your bot or let's say when Rasa NL you will be able to extract or let's say classify the intent right so this is how you are able to take actions accordingly right so this is how it has taken place similarly if you will response to some other question which is here how can I help you let's say get something to eat so what happens here it is showing you again two options vegetarian or the non vegetarian so these are the two buttons which we have set in our rasa x right so this is how we can select accordingly and also here you can see when i will check for it so here is your message get something to eat so it has predicted this as the intent and the intent name is what do you have so what do you have is what so this is in the top this right so this is uh, predicting it very correctly and also it is showing you the percentage level for that and here you can see the confidence level is quite very low which is 13.91 something right because whatever message you have written that is not from here you have written random things over here right but still your rasa nlu was able to predict it very correctly so that's why it has shown you the correct output but in some cases you will not get the correct output right so you have to pass the message accordingly right so this is how we have to take care of it right so this will take care accordingly and also it will show you all the stuff that is over here and it will show you the intent and the entity names now the main top main thing is like how we are going to get the entity values here right but here you can see we are not getting any entity values for any of the message that you will pass right so let's see how to get that now for now let's just close this now let's go back here right so to add the entity values to your rasa chatbot what we have to do is we have to think like where we want to add the entities and how we are going to use that entities further right so let's say right now i want to use this website as my entity name right because there are two ways or let's say there are different ways to say the word website right we can say website we can say site we can also say the web page so there are different ways to say the same thing right so at that time at least your chatbot should be able to specify or let's say your chatbot should be able to extract the entities according to that right because maybe you are having this website as a single word but in future we can use this word as an entity which can store some further values accordingly right because website is a term that can store different values or let's say that can store the URL of different different websites 
so that is not a unique or let's say that is not a static part that can that is a dynamic part and that can change or let's say that can vary time to time right so according to the situation it can vary right so this is how you know we have to specify it so that's why i just want to make this as the entity name right so for that let's see how to make that entity to make that entity what you have to do is you have to pass this word which is website inside your square brackets and just after this you have to open the parenthesis and with inside this parenthesis you have to specify your entity name right so let's say i want to write the entity name as link right so this is how i can do that similarly i can do it for site as well right so for that i'm writing it as link but as this website and site is the same thing so that's why i can specify in here like this is the entity name colon after that you have to specify the actual meaning or let's say the actual entity of that right so for that i will specify the value of it as the website so this site means the same which is website right so that's how i can do that so let's do one thing let's just change it to web page so do the same thing over here and just write it here right so this is how we can create the entity right so this is how i have done it now after that my next step is to add this entity name to my domain file so let's go to the domain file after that here you can see we are having the column for your intent having a column for templates for actions but there is no column or let's say there is no uh, word specified for your entities so in domain file you are having three more terms that you can specify the one is the form the one is the slot and the third one is the entities right now which we are using is the entities so let's just add that and what are those forms and what are those slots that we will see in the further videos but for now we are talking about the entities so that's why i will specify this first so i have specified this which is link so this is how i have done it right so this is how i can do it right so this is the complete part which i have done on my end now when i will train my model and after that when i will check this part at that time what will happen is this time you will be able to check like what is the entities right what is the entity which your rasa nlu has extracted from the message that you have passed to your chatbot so this is how we can add the multiple entities to your rasa chatbot and how we are going to use it further that we will see afterwards but for now let's see whether your rasa chatbot is able to extract them or not so just train this model and let's run it so your training is done now let's run the same command rasa shell hyphen hyphen debug right so because we want to debug and we want to actually see like what are the entities that your chatbot has picked up right so this is what we have to check so here is it now here you can see inside your nlu dot this you are having this more info and for this more info we are having a separate story right so for that we do not have to write the complete part instead what we can do is we can directly pass this value for your more info and directly it will show you the results accordingly right so let's just write this part let's say i want to know about your website i want to know about your let's say site right so that we can see like whether it is able to predict it as the website or no so just press enter Here you can see i have written this i want to know about your site and in that case i have spelled want as wrong so but still it was able to identify it 
so the entity name is more underscore info and the confidence is quite very good 89.94 percent and similarly here you can see this time with the name entities you are getting few values right so inside this value it is showing you the complete syntax or let's say it is showing you the complete json format in which you are having all the values like what is the starting and the ending point for your entity and accordingly what does that mean so the entity name is link which i have specified here and the value for that link is website now here you can see i have specified this as site but still it is taking you or let's say it is considering it as the website because i have already specified if you will get the term site then at that time what you have to do is you have to consider it as the website so this is how you can create your own entity and you can use it with your rasa chatbot right and also you can see the confidence is very good it is quite 81.84 percent means it is predicting the right entity and that entity extraction is working fine similarly it is showing you like what extractor it has used which is crf entity extractor and similarly what is the processes for that that is the entity synonym mappers so this is all the things that you can further add to your rasa chatbot right now this is it for today but in a, in the next videos we will definitely see how to use this entities further so that we can further take some values from the user and accordingly we can store them into some different slots right so this is how we are going to do and this is it for today i hope you have understood all the things very clearly but still if you are having any kind of a doubt or any queries regarding the topic then don't hesitate just leave a comment below in the comment section and if you have liked this video then do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any kind of a videos from my side till then bye bye and thanks for watching this video